Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and welcome to Juniper Open Shortest Path First OSPF Lab Number Three. In this lab, what we are going to be looking at is OSPF authentication. So, as we can see from our network diagram, we have two routers: router one and router two. Router one and router two are connected together via their logical tunnel interfaces and we are representing all of our logical tunnels. All LTs will be equal to LT-120.xx. For instance, for router 1, LT.12. And for router 2, LT.21. So what we're going to do is we're going to configure two logical systems. One is going to be called R1 and one is going to be called R2. We're going to configure the logical interfaces between them, then run OSPF in area 0 between on these two interfaces. And we're going to take a look at OSPF authentication. We're going to look at the simple authentication and MD5 authentication, how to set those up. We're also going to look at some OSPF trace options. We're going to show you some of the messages that you're going to get, and we're going to verify the authentication process within OSPF. So the first thing, let's go ahead and get OSPF configured. I'm sorry, let's get our logical systems created. So we're going to do the command set logical systems R1 interfaces and then L T120.12 We're going to do this for family inet with the IPv4 address of 12. Dot, let's move this real fast so we can see we do 12.12.12.1 slash 24 we're going to also put on here the peer unit is going to be 21. Again, that's the logical tunnel from router 2's perspective, LT.21. So peer unit 21, and then we're going to set up our encapsulation type as Ethernet. So if you're not familiar with what I'm doing right now, you can look at my logical tunnel labs to find out how to create your logical tunnel interfaces, and then how this will allow you to create a connection between logical systems. So that's what we're doing in this lab. We're not using actual physical interfaces. We're just using the logical tunnels built into the logical systems and the Juniper router that we are using. 